Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get to Diamond with Silas in just three hours. If you watch the video in its entirety and do everything the same way as I do, you will have no problem getting to Diamond at the least. So we're going to start off talking about the runes, I'm going to talk about the build some more, and then I'm just going to show you gameplay videos that I made specifically talking about the mindset that I play at, why I do what I do, and how I do what I do. So for the first rune page, this one, you there are two main rune pages. This one you'll most likely take, as you'll see in the game, depending on the enemy team and matchup. I mostly make my runes in champion select, so if you're not as fast as that, make sure to save these. Um, usually you want to change the defense, but for the primary rune, you want to go first strike. This is really, really good into melee matchups uh, where you're able to get it off. If it's ranged, it's a little hard as they can proc it off, but usually when you go first strike, as you'll see, the build that goes with it is extremely high damage, and you're usually Assassin Silas bursting out the team. So like I said, if the enemy team is mostly squishy or you're against a melee laner, this is usually what you want to go, as it gives you an insane amount of extra damage, and Silas does a lot of damage. You're also gaining gold based on that, so it helps you snowball, as Silas is one of the best snowball champions in the game. For the next rune, you want to go Magical Footwear. Magical Footwear is great because... Like I said, this is already giving you bonus gold, but having magical footwear not only gives you boots at a cheaper cost, but that 10 movement speed can go a long way, especially as a character like Silas where you're melee, chasing the enemy down and closing that gap can go a long way, but also that 10 extra movement speed can really help when you're trying to get out of a sticky situation, as well as going things like Magi some games that can stack very nicely. Biscuit Delivery is a fantastic item uh, rune for Silas, mostly because in the laning phase he had a lot of struggles. So not only does Silas run out of mana at some times, uh, which this can be very helpful for, but a Biscuit can honestly be the difference between life and death, especially in the early game uh, when they ignite you. So Biscuit Delivery is definitely the way to go. And we want to go Cosmic Insight as the last one. To be honest, this last page isn't amazing, but you're never going to take Time Warp Tonic because you only want to take this if you take Corrupting Potion, which you won't. And Approach Velocity doesn't work that often with Silas. It works with this Q, but at the end of the day, having that Summoner Spell hiss is really, really helpful. Having that Flash Up, having that Ignite Up just a few seconds earlier really can make the difference, especially because with Silas you want to do a lot of flashy plays. That can help out a lot. For the secondary runes, we want to go Domination. The main reason for Domination... Are kind of backwards, that's weird. Let me fix that. The main reason for domination is sudden impact. This rune is built for Silas with a cooldown of only four seconds, and each time you use either his E or his W, uh, it doesn't say lunge, but it actually works with his W, you gain six magic penetration for five seconds, which is insane. Sometimes this rune does more damage than your primary rune, so always, always want to take this. And Treasure Hunter honestly is a fantastic rune. Like I said, Silas is a snowballing champion, so getting an extra 1,000 gold from First Strike and then an extra 550 gold from Treasure Hunter, that's almost half an item for free. So we definitely want to take that. For the little runes, we want to take a plus 8 ability haste. Obviously, ability haste is really important with Silas, and plus 8 in the early game can be the difference between life or death. Um, obviously, going plus 9 adaptive force. And like I said, depending on the matchup, you want to either go armor or magic resist. I don't recommend going defense because you most likely will build the item Shadow Flame, and that extra health can actually screw you over. So, in these cases, make sure you take armor or magic resist. Alrighty, guys. So, for the second rune page, this one you're going to want to take if they are tankier obviously conqueror works much better for silas if he's in a bruiser form staying in a fight for a long time and not only if they're tankier but it makes you yourself tankier so if you need to be the tank for the team usually i take this in ranged matchups where they have a lot of poke and it's really hard to farm uh bully matchups this is really really great and so i think everyone knows conqueror by this point it's a very basic rune but it's fantastic for silas like i said you're going to take a lot of ability haste you're going to be in fights for a long time and as you'll see in the games there's a certain play style that comes with it so for some people this might be better i tend to use both like i said so depending on the champion select i will do this rune page or the one that i have just showed you so conquer for the main rune presence of mind of course uh Triumph got nerfed a bit ago. It was okay, but having presence of mind for someone like Silas just goes such a long way with his mana cost being as high as they are. And even though you might go a mythic item sometimes, most of the time when I take this, I go Rift Maker, so I don't even have a myth, uh, mana mythic. Presence of mind is almost as important the, as the main rune, so make sure that you take that. Legend Tenacity, as I call it. Honestly, 
is great and makes much more sense than going Bloodline or Alacrity. Um, tenacity with Silas is so important, and especially if you're trying to be this brute bruiser on your team, usually being the one to engage, usually trying to start a fight, usually trying to be in the fight for as long as possible, tenacity can really, really go a long way. Um, some games you actually might want to go Merc Treads as well, giving you a lot, but this this really does make a big difference. And Last Stand is very good for Silas because obviously with his W ability, he heals more based on his percentage health. The lower he is, the more he heals. So obviously the more damage you deal, uh, that helps a lot too, especially with Conqueror healing you, and as you'll see, Revitalize. This just makes all of his healing go hand in hand very well, and can really tilt the enemy when you're really low, and then you just go back to full HP or half HP with just one W. So I find Last Stand to actually do a lot of work, and as you'll see, the numbers really prove themselves. For the secondary, like I said, um, Second Wind is so, so amazing, and I don't normally take it, and I'll take it. In, I'll talk about it in the games. But you can go Doran's Shield as the first item. I normally go Doran's Ring, but Doran's Shield works really well with Second Wind, and for really hard matchups like Orianna or Sintra, where they literally just auto attack you every second, Second Wind is your bread and butter to surviving. It heals you so much. It makes it so much easier to stay in the lane, not being bullied, being safe, um, and it lets you play a little reckless because, like I said, even if you take a lot of poke, you're going to be okay. So Second Wind is great for the early game and good for the late game, but Revitalize is just fantastic, gaining 5% heal and shield power. 5% isn't a lot, but it goes a long way with a champion like Silas. Because you're healing from Riftmaker, from your W, from Conqueror, this just goes into so many different spots. And if you have a Yumi or something great like that on your team, which pairs extremely well with Silas, your heals and shields that you cast or receive are 10% stronger on targets below 40% health. So this is literally like Silas's W. Um, we want to take the plus 8 ability haste because, like I said, that just is very important. Plus 9 adaptive force. And for this, uh, you want to make sure you either go armor or magic resist, depending on the matchup and team comp. Alrighty, so let's start talking about the itemization for when you go the first strike Silas build. That is the first one I showed you, the, um, the assassin Silas burst build. So, obviously, for your first item, I say Doran's ring. That's always the good way to go. Um, on the first back, definitely go Dark Seal every game. Every game, as you'll see. We always go Dark Seal as our second item. Amazing item. One of the best items in the game. Helps so much with um, with scaling, with snowballing. Like I said, Silas is an amazing snowballer. So no matter what build, this is how your first back is going to look like. Always start with the Doran's Ring first back, get the Dark Seal. Uh, let's talk about the main build that you're going to be building into. Because, of course, those are starter items. But then you're going to really get down to the nitty gritty. Um, we'll start with the Boots. I really like to go Ionian Boots for the first, like I said, Ability Haste is really important, and even though this is an Assassin Silas build, I really like to go Ionian Boots. Now, later in the game, uh, when you have a lot of Ability Haste from, you know, your lower cooldowns or your items, you're going to want to sell this, get Sorcerer's Shoes. So Ionian Boots are really good for the early game, but once you kind of transition mid to late game, you're going to want to sell that and go for the Sorcerer's Shoes. For the Mythic item... You are going to be going Ludens Tempest. This is a fantastic item, giving you magic penetration. Uh, the passive is really good, giving you ability or movement speed, uh, dealing extra damage. Really good, and has a fantastic mythic passive, granting all other legendary items five magic penetration. So that's going to be your first item, obviously. For the secondary item, this is really pick and choose. Um, as you'll see, some games I'll want to go Shadow Flame as my first item, if. I want a little bit of health if I don't feel like I need to get Zonia second, if I'm feeling very aggressive. Usually I will get this if I'm in a lead. If I'm doing okay, we'll go Zonia's, but no matter what, you're going to want to go Zonia's and Shadow Flame as your next two items. Zonia's is a must for Silas. It has to be your second or third item. Shadow Flame is a very good item, so you also want to go that, giving you 100 AP and 200 health, so it makes you a bit beefier too, especially with the Zonia's Hourglass. Now, after that, it's a bit situational. For the last item, obviously we're going to go Death Cap. This is how your main build is going to look like. Now your last item, like I said, it can be situational depending on what the game is. If they are building a lot of magic resist, then feel free to go Void Staff. Um, if they are very AP heavy, maybe they have a Blitzcrank and you're annoyed, no problem going to Banshee Zill. If you're doing very well and you feel crazy, nothing wrong with upgrading your Dark Seal as long as it's at 10 sacks to get that Magi Soul Sealer. So, once again, I'll put these all out. For the last items, you can choose between these three, Magi's, Banshee's, and Void Staff. Other than that, this is what your main build is going to look like, these five. And let's move on to the Conqueror item build. 
Alrighty, so like I said in the other video, um, it's going to be the same starting item. If you are uncomfortable, maybe you think you take a little bit too much poke, there's no problem going Doran's Shield. I personally don't because I like the extra AP. You obviously won't be as strong, but taking Doran's Shield in very hard matchups is perfectly fine. Um, but for the sake of this, we're going to say Doran's Ring. And even if you go Doran's Shield, make sure on your first back, always, always grabbing that Dark Seal. So this is how you're beginning is going to look like. You're either going to go Doran's Ring, and then on your first back, get that Dor Dark Seal, or Doran's Shield, get that Dark Seal, alright? So let's talk about what you're going to be going. Now, even for this build, we want to go Ionian Boots for our first items. When we are uh, in the mid to late game, we can sell these. Don't really want to go Sorcerer's Shoes because uh, we're the tank. It's more important to go Defensive Boots, so if they're very AD heavy and have a lot of auto attacks, go Plated Steel Caps. And if you need a bit more tenacity, go Mercury Treads. But like I said in the other build, we want to go this in the beginning and then sell that for either Mercury Treads or Plated Steel Caps. So for the sake of this video, let's say that they are Magic Resist heavy, or AP heavy, so we want to go Magic Resist. We'll go with the Mercury Treads. Now, this build is a little more straightforward than the other. Not as much, or I, it has some flexibility, but this is a lot harder for your early game, much better late game. So this is a much better early game, or late game build. Not as good early game, has a good mid game. So for the Mythic item, we are going to go Rift Maker. There are some times uh, where you can switch this up. If you really need to CC them, sometimes if you, if you like, they're hard to lock down, Nothing wrong with replacing this and grabbing an Everfrost. Most of the time you won't do this, and I personally don't like it because your damage is much lower than it normally would be. So I would say 90% of the time we're going to go Rift Maker, so we'll stick with that. I'm just allowing to let you know that there is variability. Um, Leandries is also good sometimes, but at the end of the day, Rift Maker is just a little bit better. So after that, we want to go straight into some ability haste. Obviously, with the Rift Maker, we need, it doesn't give you that much. It only gives you 15 ability haste. So going Cosmic Drive is really great. Continuing to stay in the fight, just spamming that W every moment that it's up, healing up constantly in the fight. Cosmic Drive is really, really good for that. And now that you have a bit of ability haste, we can go into Demonic Embrace. This gives us even more health. It burns the enemy, which is really important, and it gives us... Um, you know, 2% of your bonus health as ability power. So all three of these items giving you health and Demonic Embrace really just making it smooth out very nicely. So you want to make sure you go the Cosmic Drive first though because this does not give you any ability haste and like I said, you're going to need ability haste. So we got four items here and after that we're going to go the bread and butter of Silas, of course, Zonia's. So this is the main five items. We always like to keep one item slot for flexibility depending on what's going on. Um, if you need a bit more magic resist, this has a lot more variability. Go Bansheesville if you want health. Go Anathema's Chains if you need um, anti-heal. Morella Nomicon. Really, you can build anything that's tanky. Um, it doesn't even have to inherently be, you know, AP. So Spirit Visage is honestly a really, really good buy sometimes um, just to do that. Because like I said, you're not going for crazy damage. You're going to help the team. And uh, most likely, just to even things out, the most general item, you know, if you don't really need anything, if you feel confident... Just a rabbit on's death cap, evening out all that AP. And of course, the more damage you do with AP, the more you heal. So it really helps. Um, but you can be as flexible as this as you want. Like I said, going Spirit Visage, going Void Staff, anything like that. So with the runes and the builds, let's hop into the games. Alrighty, so for this game, I'm going to be going Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend, Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Win, and Revitalize. We're against Orianna, which is a pretty poke-heavy lane. Taking first strike would be basic suicide, and I would never get it off. Um, second wind or revitalize are going to help out a lot, especially second wind. Um, you could go Doran's shield to start, but I like to be more aggressive. Uh, Doran's ring is a little more aggressive. Doran's shield is a little, you know, more safe. But I I'm pretty confident with this, and I'm going to start Q because I can, like, have to stay a mile away from Orianna. Um... Yeah. This is definitely, like, one of the harder lanes for sure. Um, for the Mythic item, I'm probably gonna try to go... Because they're pretty tanky. Volibear, Graves is just inherently tanky. Uh, Rel, probably gonna go Ever... Or, sorry, Rift Maker this game. That's always a really, really good. And we have Presence of Mind, so we should be able to not have to build a tier. I could still build a tier if I want, but I don't really plan on it. Because that's just too much scaling. It's going to take way for, way too long for me to come online. But yeah, this is just pain. 
And I'll try to do something. I still took Ignite. So I have Ignite and she has CP. So I do have that advantage. I'm actually doing really well in CS. I don't know how I'm beating her. But kind of just have to play like this until level 3. Or we get a gank. Oh, this is per I mean, I'm not level 3 yet, but I'm down. If I was level 3, it's a kill for sure. I didn't get that. I'm depressed. Hmm. Still have Ignite. We could go back in. Oriana's also out of mana. I think I can kill her if Graves leaves. But this wave is too big. I'll probably want to wait. She's completely out of mana though. I want to go... But this... Yeah, I, the wave is a little bit more important than a kill actually. Even if I get the kill. She's probably going to recall. And get her mana back. So I'm fine. If we both recall, that's okay. Freeze the wave. I'm just going to get a Dark Seal. She's most likely going to TP back, but honestly, that won't make too much of a difference. This is fine. I used to be locked up, but 15 to 14 CS. I don't know how I'm keeping up with her so well. She should be demolishing me. Or maybe I'm just last hitting well and not realizing. Or maybe a little bit of both. She's got a tier so she could spam me more. That's okay. Now that I have Dark Seal, Ignite, all that... And I'm level 3. I'm going to play more aggressive. I'm not going to be as afraid of her. So I'm not going to let her poke me down as much. As long as Graves isn't here. I should win the 1v1. Okay, Graves is here though. It's kind of around at least. Top side. So yeah, now you can see I'm just demolishing her in these trades. And Graves is here. Because obviously I would beat her. Good, evil. What does any of that even mean? I don't even need to ignite it well. So I can use ignite on him here. You should kill just flash, just flash. Nice. It's totally worth. See, this is why I was fine with us both recalling, because I love getting Dark Steel before fighting. She has no TP. So I'm glad we did that, honestly, because I recall, get the Dark Seal, now I have three Dark Seal stacks. I... Th not sure if she used Flash, but I have my Flash up. Yeah, now we just won this lane. Literally, this lane is just hard levels 1 through 3, but after that, it's just piece of cake. You just can't fall too far behind in those early levels. This is really good. Um... I actually really want to go boots first item. It's just way too good. Rushing lucidity boots is just way, way too good. Because it helps us get back to lane fast. And early ability haste goes such a long way when your cooldowns are super long. I could have just built a ruby crystal and amplifying tome, but I, I think this is more worth. So I'm gonna get the level 6 advantage here. And I think once I hit that, I want to fight her. Because level 6 advantage is a really big deal. Okay. Ah, uh, she has phase rush. She got, she got away too fast. Otherwise, I would have been able to do it. Try it next time here. Okay, so she did have flash. Now she does not. I can keep going, actually. I still have my Conqueror stacks. Always important to keep track of your Conqueror stacks. I had 12, so I wanted to keep fighting there. Okay, now I just want to push the wave and leave, though. I want to get a good recall. Get a good reset. I don't think it's worth going tier here. Some games it is, but I just have such a big lead. I Actually, I will build the tier, but I'm not going to build into it. I'm just building it for the extra mana. I'm not going to really get... I don't think I want any three of these. I would rather just build straight into it, but I'm just going to build it now. It's free 240 mana, and it stacks, and I think that's okay. But truth be told, the tier items, none of them are very good, to be honest. Even when you get them to their stacked ability... I think going another item is 
usually better. So now you can see I'm playing super aggressive into this lane. And most likely Graves is going to camp me, but I'm, I'm so far ahead that I can 2v1 them. It's fine. Got our ulti out. Oh, she dead? No, health pot. Wait, oh, one more tick, she had 20 HP. Her health pot saved her life, but we push her out of lane. And that's good enough for me. I'll get a turret plate, she's gonna lose a big wave. I'm two levels above her. I don't, or actually he doesn't have smite yet. Oh, we hit those, I guess. <laughs> wow. I mean, hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and you also miss 100% of the ease you don't cast. So. <laughs> Actually, let's build this. Yikes. Oh, it's not doing too hot, though. We got seven stacks. We're doing really well, and this build usually t does really poorly in the early game and good in the late game, so the fact that we're, we're doing good now is a big deal. Hopefully we can transition that into winning other lanes. And this red buff's actually really good. I'm actually really glad I got it because it actually goes a long way. I just want to fight her and get this some value out of this Graves ulti before it's out. Gonna freeze the lane here, so she's kind of forced to do something. She doesn't recall, does she? No. I will be the monster they yeah, think I am. An ally has been slain. <laughs> nice. Top's not doing good. Bot's not doing good. We're gonna have to win this game really hard. We want to carry. I uh, I didn't get that cannon and I didn't get that minion. So I could help other lanes or I can just keep winning mid lane. I think keep winning mid lane is probably the move. Actually, he's so far pushed out. I gotta go for this, right? I mean, it's just free. Wish he had a shutdown. But she TP'd, this wave is at her side. I I don't have anything to do mid, so I might as well do something with my time. Do I need to use ignite? Oh, he got in the way. The nice thing is you can heal off of Alawi's dub or with her E. Oh, nice job. He got in the way of my E, otherwise I would have killed Volley there. But now we can get some turret plates here. So this is good. Okay, I was saying we weren't helping other lanes, but we definitely just helped top lane a bunch. Ash rotated mid, that's good. We could have killed Volibear if he stayed. I would have stolen his ulti, but that's okay. 10 Dark Seal stacks. This item is just... If you don't build Dark Seal every game as an AP user, you're actually trolling. It is phenomenal. For 350 gold, I'm gaining... 55 ability power. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. So we're at 145 AP. Very healthy. These runes obviously came in handy. Probably would have died a few times if we didn't run it. Can we help bot lane here? Then slit it. Well, this is really good for kiting me. I just got a flash on her, or else she's just gonna kite me for years. 
job. Could recall and get Riftmaker, but I don't want to miss this mid wave. So I'm just going to run back. Or I guess Ash can cover. If eh, it's okay. Probably walked on top of a ward, right? So, Rift mid. We can take mid tower here pretty easily before 14 minutes. It's already a three plates, so just Rift mid, it's gone. We already got top tower. We actually... Bot was doing bad. Top was doing bad. We really... We won mid lane and transitioned it to help other lanes. So it's not impossible, you know? Especially not with Silas. Hiya. Rude. Look at the tower. Very nice. It's taking a lot of damage, but getting that tower is really important. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Guess Diana didn't even need me. So now we'll build in the Cosmic Drive. Get some more ability haste so we can spam it. And then once we have a, enough ability haste, we can sell our boots for something a little bit better. Because I usually like to transition into Merc Treads or Plated Steel Caps as my boots. When we have too much ability haste, helps out a lot. Tenacity is very good for Silas, and yeah, it helps. It helps me just be more aggressive, take more than I take more, so that I can stay in the fight longer, deal more damage, and all that. So I always like going defensive boots, just Ionian for the early game. Let's help bot. We pushed in. Whenever we push in mid lane, we look to help other lanes. Wow, great combos. So, as you can see, I push the wave mid, help bot, and then before the wave comes crashing back to our tower, we go back mid. That way we don't lose anything. I was born a maid. The Marcia made me a criminal. She's gonna come right here. Ah! That phase rush, so annoying. Tradition is a crutch for the mindless. Ooh, don't mind if I do though. We could kill Volibear, right? I mean, it would be nice to have his ulti, but... I am the Storm, too. I'm the better Storm, actually. I don't even need his ulti, I guess. I'm a man without a country. Perhaps I'll take this one. Graves is top. We should be able to get the dragon. No problemo. Who just TP'd? Oriana? Why are... <laughs> I don't know if that's completely necessary. But okay. No more kings. No more kings. So they're probably going to come around no here, right? It all ends yeah, so they're going to walk this way. No? Yikes. No flock is just an idiot with a stick. Okay, I flash, so I can flash to honor her if I need to. Oh, I pulled her into Seraphine's ulti. I guess the rel I usually don't like rel ulti because it's not very good. But for the CC there, it was amazing. We just go for the dragon, right? We don't need to dive graves here. Oh, does this hit? Oh my god, that would have been hilarious if it did.
Okay, we could recall, get Riftmaker. Or sorry, Cosmic Drive, sell boots. And... I don't know, actually. I guess for now we'll keep the boots. But it's hard to decide if we want Merc Treads or Plated Steel Caps. Both would be good, honestly. Chains build revolutions, one link at a time. We can close them off. After fifteen years in the dark, I was illuminated. What? What's, where, where did he go? He must have walked way up. Wait, what? I have no idea how I didn't hit him or find him. Embrace the chaos. I'll give it back. Promise. <laughs> what can they do to me that they have not done? Close. Ashero? Ashero? I'll just go for her then, right? Do I even need to take the Kalissa ulti? Probably not. It's surrenderable? <laughs> what? Whoa, why are so many yeses? Bro, chill. I'm like actually not playing selfish either. I have six assists. I have the most assists in our game and the most kills. I'm like playing team player at AF right now. Dude! Whoa! Why are we three S's? Because if they actually say yes before 20, we'll we'll lose. Bro, please say no. I'm actually scared. If you say yes at 20, we lose. Please. Oh my god, I had a heart attack. Okay, they said no. <laughs> I'm dead. I got CC'd. Okay. Well, no perfect game for me, I guess. Who did I get the shutdown to? Callista? I was spamming W, but I wasn't able to get it off. If I got the W off, I probably would have lived. Holy moly. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I just build the Archangel Staff because I can. I mean, it's that's not good, honestly. I don't want to. I died many deaths. But what else do I buy? This is nothing. Let's just do it. It's a mythic item. It's okay. But yeah, just like an awkward amount of gold. I'd rather just get a mythic item here. Gives us some health. Nah, it's not awful, but... I'd rather sell it for something else. Hex Shrinker. Okay. Might have to go avoid stuff this game then. We do true damage though, which helps out, but we still might want to avoid stuff. Time to crack the Bro, that's all five of them. Jesus, I just died twice in a row. That's so bad. I hate the bounty system in this game because if you die once, it's just really, really bad. Calista got that too. Okay. I thought my team was with me, but I got um, W'd by Graves and couldn't see anything. Got Orianna ult CC'd. Yikes. Okay, just go for the dragon. 
Oh, uh, if I had a stopwatch, maybe I shouldn't have bought this and bought a stopwatch, because if I had a stopwatch, I probably would have lived there. Like, I still have- I think I need Merc Treads as well, because every time I have Flash and E. I've had Flash and E my both deaths, but I just get CC chain, so I'm not able to use either. Not the first time I've had my which is not fun. Moves. I am the true Imagine trying to team fight an Alawi. <laughs> Screw you, bro. I'm gonna style on him for the kill. No, 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 no! Oh my god, I thought we surrender voted for a second. Okay, they did. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Still GG. I mean, I threw twice and we still won because we helped, we helped our lanes so much that even when I threw, Alawi was able to carry. So, that's good. I'm glad I gave the kills. Kind of gives me a backup for my own stupidity. Alrighty, so for this game, I'm going to be going first strike, magical footwear, biscuit delivery, cosmic insight, sudden impact, and treasure hunter. We're against a Fizz. He's a melee matchup, so I'm not too afraid of going first strike. Uh, I should be able to get it off pretty well, and for the most part, their team is mostly melee, except for the bot lane. But usually, when the melees are the mid lane is a melee, I like to go this rune setup. I'm gonna go E. If I can get, if I hit him first and I get a full uh, combo, I do a lot of extra damage, and first strike goes off. So, in the, for the most part. Silas wins trades with Fizz. Did I not get my... Oh, I gained 5 gold, but I didn't do any extra damage. We'll take it. And so I only want to fight him whenever this first strike is up. Other than that, I'm going to play pretty pretty safe. Not try to look to trade, but only trade when that's ready. He's scared of us, though. You'll have to kill me. He also started E first. Usually you're supposed to start W first as Fizz. Yeah, he hit us first. So I wasn't able to get my first strike off, which I'm pretty sure that's what he was aiming for. Okay, it's going corrupting. So he's gonna have a lot of sustain. He has ignite, electrocute. Gotta be careful of him bursting me down. Let's just wait for this to come up. I thought I hit that on him. That minion just cock blocked me. It just went in front of him at the last second. <laughs> so dumb. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ignited. I right, got biscuits to help with mana. It's a Skarner jungle. We're still beating him in CS though, which is good. His E is really annoying. Okay, he's out of corrupting potions though. He actually just styled on me right there. Jesus. Don't even need you, Echo, but I appreciate it anyways. Gonna use the biscuit to help push the lane. Get some mana. Oh god, I'm dead. What? Wait, quick, quick Dark Seal buy? No. I was hoping maybe we kill him. I got a Dark Seal stack and Treasure Hunter. He flashed. I, there's no world I live there. No time to lick wounds. Let's wait for another... Actually, no. Let's just get mana. I don't have time to wait. Let's find them. Oh, wait. Fizz still got an assist? I'm surprised. He gets a Dark Seal sack. That's actually... Not bad, but... Not 
the best either. Whatever they bring, I'll match. This is good. We got a freeze here. Now, he used Ignite last, so my Ignite will be up before his. Therefore, I want to be very aggressive and fight him while I still have that and he doesn't. I got a good freeze here, so he's going to have to walk up. This kind of makes him come to me. And if he doesn't, he's going to lose gold and XP. So it's a win for me no matter what. Yeah, he's in a tough spot. Nice. Got my first strike off there. Should get level 6 before him too. Yeah, I'm gonna get level 6 before him, so I wanna play super aggressive. See ya, bro. We take his Dark Seal stack away, get two of our own, and he misses Cannon, just a huge wave. Yeah, he's screwed. We just won the lane off of that. So it's really important knowing when you're level 6, because that level 6 advantage is just gigantic and definitely got me the kill. I might need help. I have Biscuit. If Echo came, which he easily could have instead of gone for his Krugs, we could have killed him. Really don't understand why he did not come and help me. I could have continued the fight, could have kept going. I have to miss this wave. That's not fun. Oh god, that's fine. I'm just going to stay here. I could get the last chapter, but I want to use my gold to the best. Efficiency. So instead, I'm gonna go blasting one and two, amplifying. That way, I get a lot of AP. <sighs> Damn. Don't touch the wave. Don't touch the wave. It's fine. Good job, though. He got Fizz's ult and ignite out. So I want to push this wave, and then let's see if we can kill Garen top. He's got Phase Rush, though, and Boots of Swiftness. We can kill him, though, right? Let's see. I will be the monster they think I am. He's pretty low. I just steal his ulti and deal true damage, right? That was a really long rangey. <laughs> kind of surprised that hit, but I'm not complaining. Their shackles are now my weapons. <laughs> How's that for Island? Once again, freezing the lane, making Fizz make a tough decision. I definitely don't want to push this lane either because if I'm playing at Fizz's tower. Skarner can just run up and ult me at any time, so I want this to be at my tower. Unless, of course, I see Skarner somewhere else, but kind of just leaves me really vulnerable to getting ganked. And I don't think I'm going to out-escape a Predator Skarner, even if I have Flash. Eleven thirty. okay. Let's get this wave. Push it to the tower and then recall and get our Mythic item. Okay. What's up, gang? It's exactly what I said. And I wasn't even pushed up to the tower. Sweet skill. <laughs> they really want me, man. Flash, ult, ignite. <laughs> like... <laughs> We lived, though, so that's good. Alright, we got Skarner ult. I made sure to steal that. Um, 
because it's a really good ult to have on and it'll help us kill Garen. Should be fine here, right? I don't think they know he's on it. Garen is probably taking this right now. Oh shoot, they do now. I'm coming. Let me pull him right into your stun. Oh, the synergy. That was beautiful. Ooh, I got the Rift Herald too, so I can get this first tower before 14 minutes and really extend my lead. I know Fizz does not have Ignite. Cool trade, bro. Let me just uh, heal it back with my ability. If he uses E, he's diveable. The bluer the blood, the sweeter it's. You're dead, bro. So I want to kill him so he gets out of the way. Then I can take this tower without him bothering me. No, just come on. Try it. Try it, Skarner. Wait, it actually kind of hurts. Just kidding. <gasps> no! I love my W ability. <laughs> Point and click, heal, and deal damage. What a great idea. Hmm. I think we just go Zonia's second item, right? Or if we really want to be annoying, we go Banshees. Let's be really annoying. <laughs> Let's be a total cuck to this Fizz. <gasps> Banshee's Veil is good regardless. And I was planning on building it and Zonia's, but let's just build this first because it's going to be more helpful right now. Zonia's would be more helpful in the mid to late game when we're team fighting, but during the laning phase with uh, Skarner and Fizz doing magic damage. Just using it for the wave clear, obviously. No other reason. Conflict brings truth. Eventually. Okay. Now that that's pushed, let's go and see if we can help top. No more kings, no more queens, no more mages. It all ends now. Is he really staying? Nice, we got his flash. So I used the Q, obviously I didn't hit him with my Q, but it's important to constantly have your passive stacks ready. So I use my Q because my two were about to run out. I reset it, get three passive stacks. That way when I run up to Garen, I have three ready to go. Bro, it's 16 to two. Okay, 16 to three. They're forfeiting this at 15. Oh my God. I didn't even realize we were beating them so hard. I mean, top lane's kind of an island, but looks like bot lane was doing really well the whole time too. A mage seeker tried to test me once. I actually would love that blue. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I would love a blue buff. Thank you. What can they do to me that they have not done? Good stun. <gasps> oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. These were my two passive stacks that I haven't gotten yet, so I wanted to go bot and kill them. I'm dead, huh? No! 1300 turret damage, come on, man. Worth it, though. I got all of my treasure hunter stacks. I am rich AF. Let's grab this and grab this.
They're getting a few kills here and there. And to be honest, it's not worth for us because if in trades we give them bounties, but it, I think we're still too far ahead. The play on Sivir was a bit greedy, but I didn't expect her to flash, and when she did, I was already so... I was probably going to die anyways because I was deep in their jungle. So... Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta stop giving him shutdowns. So they used every summoner spell, so I'm gonna go back bot lane and kill them here. Pantheon ult, maybe? Okay, so I guess they still had exhaust. Yeah, they're gonna rotate. I think we kill her. We need to pop her spell shield first. I have Zonia, so I don't mind. We just saw Skarner right there, too. I don't know if Pantheon not, doesn't know I'm not with him. Oh, good snipe, dude. Really need a Zonius here because they're starting the AD are starting to hurt attack damage carries. So now we got armor and magic resist. We're gonna be pretty hard to kill, and we deal a lot of damage. So they got some magic resist, or at least he does. For the next item, I probably. Probably want to go death cap and just even things out. If they build more magic resist, I can build a void staff, but I'm at three items at 16 minutes, so. You walk down, you're dead. You walk up, you're dead. The things I do for my teammates. I could have easily killed her, but I went this way to help Jin instead. Wait, I killed Renata? Kill. <laughs> I only threw the fizzle. Did the fizzle do that much damage? I think the first strike killed her, actually. That bonus damage from first strike must have killed her. Wow, <laughs> I did not expect that. That's so crazy, actually. I guess I killed both of them in the end. I thought I was only going to be able to get one. Bait it, maybe? Oh. No, she lived. Good try, though. Bro, this tower though. Oh. I'm a dick. I'm such an asshole. And he just ran up and died. <laughs> Let's get a Magi's actually. That's all they are. Oof. At least he didn't have a shutdown. I'm just kind of scared that I'm going to get Magi's cursed here and somehow die. Because whenever I buy Magi's and have 10 stacks, no something always goes no wrong. No I mean, are Gnosis and Garen just going to do this all game? And I hope Garen knows that he's going to lose this in the long run, because he's basically just giving Gnosis free stacks. Tradition is a crutch for the mind. Stop building magic resist. I'm in a pretty bad spot. Behold, 
Ah, she freaking spell shielded my ulti so I can't steal anything. They're all so low. They're all so low. <laughs> How did I not get an assist on either of those? I. Wait, what? Okay, they FF anyways, but I'm kind of hurt that I didn't get an assist. That was a sick snipe by Pantheon, but that is a clean game. First strike really had its worth there, so I think that kind of showcase when's a good time to take first strike and how it can actually be really good. Okay, this is how we're starting the game, I guess. This is this is more of a fiesta than I thought. Uh, do I have to flash over this wall? I was gonna do an, a whole intro and everything, but um, okay. Oh my! Just flashed on him. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna put the runes up and. Uh, Kind of try to say it because I don't didn't do my intro as I normally would. But for the runes, we're going first strike, magical footwear, biscuit delivery, cosmic insight, absolute focus, and gathering storm. Um, it's already three to two. For the mythic item, we're going to be going Luden's Tempest, building basically as much ability power as possible. Uh, building things like Shadow Flame, Ravenous Death Cap, items that have the most amount of AP. Uh, we don't really care about getting magic pen because we already do, the more AP we have, the more first strike bonus damage we do because it's bonus damage and it's true damage. We don't really care about uh, magic penetration. We're just looking to have as much AP as possible. And for that reason, I actually went plus nine, plus nine AP. I didn't go the normal uh, ability haste that I, as I would, but yeah, we're just basically trying to go as much damage as humanly possible with this rune. And hopefully, we can one-shot a tank like Scion. Um, I'm sure we're going to be able to one-shot everyone else, but... I want to see how much we can do against that. That invade was pretty good, though. Um, obviously, we got some gold, but having two assists lets us get our boots even quicker, so... I'm, I'm uh, not too upset about it. But I don't really want to fight Ari unless my first strike is up. So I'm going to constantly kind of wait for this. And play pretty defensive until it's ready. Oh yeah. Tried to recover from that. There's a three second window, and uh, fortunately she was running away from me the entire three second window. So, although I hit my first Q and spell on her, wasn't able to do more. The good news is she uh, she's TP. Without ignite. Okay, wait, she just missed. I should go in. Without ignite, she actually loses a big priority and threat in this lane. I mean, TP's good and all, but having ignite against a Silas is so crucial because she can uh, basically reduce my healing, which is <laughs> really important for Silas, especially in the early game. She's probably going to TP back to here, but. Oh, hello. Is she really not TPing? I find that super surprising. She just lost an entire wave. Okay, so we're gonna get a Dark Seal. I'm hoping to get this because Magi's has some of the most. Magi's actually gives a lot, right? So it's 20 AP, um, five times 25. It's 125 AP. This actually gives the most AP out of an item. So I'm actually kind of hoping to get this to 25 stacks, um, because like I said, we're just going for high AP. So 120 AP, Shadow Flame 100, Nashor's Tooth 100. Nashor's Tooth isn't particularly good, although it is good on Silas, but the fact that it has 100 AP is it's a really, really big deal, and it works pretty well for Silas because his auto attacks and having attack speed helps out a lot. The thing about this build, though, is that we have no defense. Like, if we're dead, we're just dead. If we get CC'd by an army charm, we're, we're kind of just dead, so it's, it's a little scary in that sense. It's high risk, high reward. And hopefully... 
the reward is higher than the risk. Oh, they're dead. Ari's missing too, but I don't think she would roam, because that fight's basically already over. Either way, I'm going to freeze the lane, though. Oh, wow. She actually was roaming down. Maybe I sh I maybe could have saved him, but... It's fine. Are you going to recall and then TP back to lane? Oh, they were getting dragon. Mm, it's fine. I mean, we weren't going to contest anyways. Nunu is topside. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get them. Wait, they're actually really low. I could go in here. I have to wait for that to get. I low-key could have, like, taken all of them, if I'm being honest. The minion, bro! That minion literally just cut in the way so hard. Oh shoot. My W wasn't up in time. That was so awkward. That was a long- that was a 25 second fight. Yikes, Master is 5 and 1. If I killed him, I actually- that would have been really good. I think Swain was the best ulti to steal though, to, to be honest. I think I took the right ulti. It's just a bit tough because I had no cool introduction. That was the that was the hardest part about that fight. But on the bright side, we have 99 AP, so we are uh, quite strong. We just have to make sure that we're aware. Once we do one combo, we gotta run away. Nine seconds. Like these are really really long cooldown timers. These minions are really getting in the way today for me. I just want to kill her before she gets level 6. That's too late, unfortunately. Could steal her ulti and go for the kill though, right? That's not good. If I go in and ult her though, she's probably just going to ult away. I don't know how counter... How uh, productive that would be. Yeah. It's just an ult for an ult. You flash for me. That's a flash for flash. Maybe Nudu could come clean up though. Arya's no ulti now. Oh, get me out of here! I could go in once my W's back up, but... Or actually, I think he could just auto-attack him to death, right? Get vision for you. Good, good, just, yeah. That's really good. I mean, I didn't get the shutdown, but I'm just, I'm happy we got him in general. Ooh, got another shutdown too. That was actually a bit spooky. I didn't realize how strong he actually was. And now we have a... Perfect amount of gold for Luden's Tempest. I'm going to leave the wave like this because it's going to push back into me. And that's just perfect. Got our boots already. Got our mythic item. It's eight minutes too. That's actually pretty early. Haven't gotten much use out of this, but it's more of a late game um, rune anyways. You don't really see value with it until mid to late game. So we know Ari doesn't have ulti. She might have flash though. How beautiful a world is without war. Oh no, no no no. Careful, careful. Those waves kind of push me in, so I can't really help them even if I wanted to. Okay. Now we got her flash. Does this kill? Oh. If her ulti wasn't up, I would have killed her with my Q1 and Q2. Okay, so now she has no ulti, no flash. Hmm. I feel a little cautious diving her here. Yeah, because I just saw Mastery right there. Yeah, he was definitely waiting for me to do something like that, but I'm uh, not going to fall for it. We should get this dragon. It's going to be really good. 
What's she doing? She might be looking for a plant. No plants here, just me. <laughs> and now I have mid prior. We should be able to get this dragon. I hope we do, because an infernal dragon can actually go a long way for me. Hopefully she doesn't have TP. From the rubble, true order will be born. Hmm. Okay, I was waiting for him to do that. I wanted to wait for him to Q me so then I could use my dash. He has an ulti. You could be able to kill him, I think. Okay, now we can get dragon safely. And I got double buffs. That's good. Below. Oh, yeah. This Swain is stronger than the ADC. It's actually very strong. In 1.5 seconds, he did 600 damage to me, including Ignite. Oh, that triumph, actually. That triumph. Damn. So. Hmm. I think I want to go Ionian Boots, but just for cost effectiveness, I'm going to go this. I don't think we're going to be able to get the dragon, though, are we? Ah, uh, it's a Master E. He takes it quite fast. Okay, maybe we don't get it, but we can clean up, I think. Maybe I should have gotten boots so I would get to the fight faster. Oh, they're not... They're actually scared. Wow. Okay. I mean, even if they want to fight, I have my flash for this fight. I, I think we'd beat them, so I'm all for it. It's a Nunu, so I don't think he gets outsmited here. Good job. A shepherd with no flock is just an idiot with a stick. Let's see if we can go top and help her out. It's pretty beefy, but. I can steal his ultimate. He's 0-4, and he has double her CS. He's actually destroying her. She's 3-0, no, he's 0-4, but he's actually destroying her. I think that ulti was overkill, honestly. He was already dead. I just did it as a safety precaution. Boop. Yikes. A fed mastery and a fed vein. That is a, not a good combo. This game is basically just going to be a battle of who can one-shot who faster. So no matter how fed they are, this fiend has a thousand gold bounty. I'm actually going to... I have to go for this. Even with flash, like it's worth it. Even if it's a one-for-one, one, it's worth it. She's worth a thousand gold and I'm worth 300, so. What was that? She's dead still, right? Boom. That was weird. Why did it push me back so far? Oh no. I'm getting CC'd so hard. I didn't get to W. Three seconds of CC. See, this is. That's the hard part about this. I have nothing if I get CC'd. I'm just dead. Which is why Shadow Flame's good here, because then it'll give me some health. Say we sell this and get boots. That'll help out a lot as well. This build also gives almost no ability haste. So we only get it from our mythic item and our boots. So going Ionian boots is definitely the right decision here. We don't need Sorcerer's Shoes because, like I said, we already do bonus damage from First Strike and we get magic penetration from Ludens. Okay, I was, there's no way she doesn't kill him there. Oh, he's dead. Good bait. I don't need to use his ulti, do I? I probably should have used it, but I kind of wanted to keep it for later. That's fine. Whoa. I have to stay away from the corner. 
I was spamming R so I could... Ugh. That stun lasts... How long does that last? I, if I was able to get my R off, she would have died and popped. The Mortal Shield Bow is actually very good for her as well. But I was already like half health in that fight. I need to stop dying because we want to keep these Dark Seal sacks. Might need to build the Zonias for this. It would especially be good with Swain, but I really want to get Rabbit on Seth Cap for the next item. I think Ari's ult might be the best, just for its utility. Ooh, get a nice Ash ult in. Perfect. What the? <laughs> well, not the person I was looking for, but I'll take it. <laughs> Bonus shield damage, negative 44. How have I done negative damage with this? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's just recall and get a Needless. I've never seen that. Sion's getting pretty beefy. Wow. That was a lot of bonus damage. Dragon's up. We gotta fight for this, right? Whew. Spain is really, really strong. I gotta be careful of her. She was so low. Please tell me they kill her. <gasps> I think her triumph just keeps saving her. Four for two. Ah, her mortal shield bow is saving her. How am I still doing negative shield damage? <laughs> negative 66 now. It was negative 44. I should have just flash auto attacked her. I was hoping she would die from something else, anyways. I had worse in and I was hoping that I could take someone else's ulti. I should have taken Swain's. That's okay. Let's keep going. If Ari's is available, I definitely want to take that. What can they do to me that they have not done? They're not on it. That's a flash. Mm, I don't want to steal ulti. I'd rather wait for the right one. Yeah. Wait, Ari's is on cooldown. Guess I gotta take Vayne's then. Vayne's is good because it gives me camo. Okay, I'm not using Flash. She's just dead here. Ye just totally ditched his team. We got a triple kill. Okay, so if I use my Q, I go camo. <laughs> He's scared of us. Should be, though. He should be scared of us. I, used to be locked up, but I, didn't care. I knew he was going to do that. Um... Oh wow, I actually... There we go, got the shutdown. My W didn't go off because he actually flat- or he queued midway. Does Ash kill him? Probably not. I don't- I don't use Flash. I really need to use it as a defense mechanism, not for a 1 in 5 Scion. Although it would be nice to kill him.
Ah, uh, I really don't want to keep fighting because I could get a death cap. And that's like a pretty big buy for me, but... Do I even need it? <laughs> Come over here. Ooh! Barely reached. Well, I guess now I can get a death cap and mash ice, so that's good. 4,000 gold. They kill... Like, they kill Vayne here, right? Wait, wow. It's two for one? Okay, so we have 603 AP. If we could stack this up a little more. And then for last item, probably get Nash's Tooth because that has 100 AP. He just uses Meditate. He's dead. He meditated. So the only way we lose these fights are if we get out kited and out CC'd, which is pretty likely with their team. Vayne's an amazing kiter. And if I get charmed or I get hit by an something here or stunned, they can just chain CC me, so. Although I am strong, I have to be careful. She's teeping? Where's she? Are they rushing this? Are they trying to sink it? That's... It will be brother against brother. Oh, where brother did she TP to? <laughs> oh, here. Dude, this guy is big. We're actually chunking him, though. It took a prison for me to find liberation. Negative two. Okay, that must be a bug. How is it negative two thousand six hundred thirty-five damage? That's totally not right. <laughs> oh, this tower still up. Okay. Maybe I should recall. It's actually four towers to one. I didn't notice that. We're actually losing objective-wise, pretty bad. Dragon's up soon. Oh, we gotta help him. Oh, he's gonna die from the burn. Okay. We could still avenge him, though, together. Bane's by herself. Bane's by herself. We could definitely do something here. She can't kill kite all of us. That was freaking close. She flashed though. She used her summoner spells. Can I recall before this dragon or do I have to stick it out? We have an ocean dragon. I should be okay. Scion's TP. Like, she's a force of nature. It's gonna be kind of hard to kill or at least take a long time. We don't have a jungler. But I think I can. Oh, he's TPing. I think we just go for it. I think I can outsmite it. I, I don't think we help her. <laughs> we kind of just have to let it. She's, she's gone. She's gone. I'm sorry. So they chase. I need 100 more gold for Nashers. He's trying to bait me to go for him, but I'm not going to do it. I'm in and I'm out. Using the Master Yield. Okay. After 15 years in the dark, I, I don't know where Twitch is. They're just kind of J-chilling over there. Um, so we could get this. We're full build. Buy this. 921 AP. I think that's as high as we go. Unless we get Gathering Storm. tanky, but we can kill him. Oh, 
I'm getting ya. No! Oh, my E just did 1,100 damage. Jesus, every auto attack does a bonus 192 damage. Nashor's Tooth is actually an amazing buy here. Wow. Wow. This is just gonna go so high, actually. Let's go for this. I really want to go for this, but I'm afraid of mastery. I think we should do it, though. What the? <gasps> no! I hit my- I just wasn't able to W fast enough. She did 2,500 damage in 2.7 seconds. Is there any world that I sell Ionian boots? Oh, wait, that's good. I was afraid they were going to Baron, but I guess they can't anymore. Actually, better yet, is there a world where I sell Ionian Boots and get Lich Bane? Because that does give me movement speed. I think that's white. I think we might have to do that, actually. Because we get movement speed from Magi's. If we get some more from there, we could actually hit 1000 AP as well. Well played by the Vein, though. She got the jump on me for sure. We are four levels above Ari. Bane's level 15 too though, she's putting up a fight. I wanna have this ulti to hold on to. I think we should go for Baron. Is Ash there? I, th I think I'm strong enough where I can just take Baron, me and the jungler, but I can't do it alone. Wait, Vayne's not here, let's go. I can kill them as long as Vayne's not there. Let's go for Swain first. Huh? Is it just me? I'm, it's gonna take me way too long to kill him. I have to recall anyways for Vayne. Don't let him hit me, please. Sell this. Get this. Get this. 1,027 AP. This gives us cool introduction too. We're actually not that slow. 401 base movement speed is completely fine. Oh my god! That was a good Merc. I didn't notice she had that. Okay, we can get this as well. That was an amazing Ash ulti and then an amazing QSS from Vayne. So we're stacked out. I think this is the most we can go. Unless we get Baron, of course. And when we hit 30 minutes with the Gathering Storm. Okay, nice. Get it off me! It actually hurt a lot. Okay, let's get this Dragon, though. I'm really low. Damn. I could die from Master Yi. It's probably the biggest threat, but we have two Ocean Dragons. I, sh I should rejuvenate a little bit. He gets it. Wow. She just disappeared. No, he got it. Bro, Nashor's Tooth is kinda, kinda cracked. Let's go for Baron. Ah, I shouldn't have forced that. My, my Nunu wasn't there. Amazing hit. <laughs> what was that? Mm. I don't want to lose my stacks.
Man, that CC is just insane. I can't. I thought maybe. Wait, what? No way. Wait, they're actually doing it. Oh, I'm dead here, though. I, they can actually do it with Master Yi. Wait, it's still... No way. Okay, reset. Thank God. As long as we stop them from doing it, that's fine. What's a Master Yi flash? Uh, if I was up, I could definitely help them. This is a crazy game. I have 31 kills. What's that? Mercs. It just doesn't even matter, though. It hit 30 minutes, so we get to 48 on Gathering Storm. I have so much gold. I don't know if I change this build, though. That's a good hit. Oh, that's a good hit. Okay, that's her flash. I really need Ari's ulti. Wait, Bane's bot. Let's go Baron. Let's go Baron. Bane's bot. A shepherd with no plot is just an idiot with a stick. We could we could take it in two seconds, I promise you. Especially without Bane, let's go for it. Even if she starts running now, it's too late. Focus it. It hurts so much. Oh, wait, but I hurt more. 1135 ability power. Where are you gonna go? Okay, Vayne's still there. I thought she'd be coming for us. Oh no. It's so 55 to 50. I don't think I 1v1 Vayne, actually. Actually... With her own ulti, being stealth can actually be in my advantage a lot. It just matters if she has summoner spells. QSS is also a little scary. Good hit. Okay, she QSS though. Good job. Wow. She's really... We need this as well. Wait, someone... No. The recall. Recall. I can take this by myself. I can do this. I just need them to defend. Oh my god. Wait, we lost. We lost. Death timers are way too long. That army charm for the win, man. Oh no. That was still a crazy good game, though. I think even though it's a loss, I'm gonna upload it. Damn. That was a crazy game. But I don't think we were good enough. Let's check the damage charts. Alright. Took a Doran's shield because he's just going to poke the hell out of me. And I can't really afford that. Honestly, TP would have been a good call here too. Because I really don't plan on fighting him. 
I'm just gonna try to farm as much as possible and scale. But Doran's shield with second win and revitalize is pretty good. Yeah. It's just gonna be like that all game. Oh my god. Oh my god. These minions are actually trolling me. I'm gonna try to go pretty tanky this game, honestly. They have a Ziggs and Ezreal, so it's basically impossible to get to their back line. And then they have an Udi or Wukong, which means they have a really strong front line. Going Assassin Silos would be like, not even playing the game. He's not recalling. These minions are not my friend today, I guess. Still not too bad, though. 16 to 20 is fine. But I definitely could have been higher. I don't want to use much mana. Because not having Doran's Ring means my mana is pretty limited. I should actually put 3 points in my Q. I I'm not going to put another point in my W. There's like... No way I'm going to get near Ziggs. I'm going to put 3 points into my Q and then the rest in a W. Epic gank. What is this? Dead. Okay, blue buff. I'm keeping my Conqueror Sax. He's gonna flash, yeah. Where's my Remus? Was he like not just here a second ago? He's touching himself? Bro. He actually has done nothing that entire time. We could have definitely killed. I'm out. I got a kill. I got blue buff. He's out of mana, but he's just going to TP back to lane. That's good. That's good. We got a kill. Sometimes you gotta pardon yourself. All right. This is a good recall. I'm not going to go tier because I don't think I'll need mana. Hmm. I think we'll win late game. I think we have a really good late game comp because Udyr kind of falls off and so does Wukong. But, and me late game is just insane with this build. We just gotta hope that we get there. This is a good freeze for me though, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm surprised he's not TPing. He's gonna lose some minions here, so that's good for me. I also feel like Urgot is an extremely underrated champion. He's f the most important thing is farming. Farming and XP. Although he died, his farm is good. My bot's farm is good. So I don't really- I don't worry about deaths too much. As long as your farm and XP is okay, that's what's most important. The unfortunate thing is their ults are pretty awful to steal, in all honesty. I actually think Karma's would be the best. <sighs> Ziggs has no flash, so I really think we should prioritize killing him. Um, because Ziggs without a flash is just... 
I mean, what, what, bro, what though? This Ramis has like some of the worst ganks I've ever seen. He comes at the worst times and then expects me to just like go in like under his tower or something. <laughs> Ziggs does counter Ramis though, I guess, in the gank. His W is pretty good for throwing him off. But he has R now. I feel like Ramis can just get over that. He's a little too awkward and scared. Oh, he's dead. Well, if we end up winning this game, it's definitely uh, going to be tough. Oh, I already... I'm subconsciously... He's just going to do that to shove me in. I'm subconsciously putting points in my W. It's too late. I should have put points in my Q, but it's whatever. Pretty oom. Um. Oh, they know, dude. They know. This is such a bad idea. And now I die because of him. I hate this dude. I hate this Ramus, man. He actually baited me. I shouldn't have gone to help him. <laughs> what was the point of that? I had no mana, so I couldn't use anything. It's unfortunate. I was winning my lane too. Now I'm gonna be behind because he gets a turret plate and I miss a wave. That's unfortunate. I really wish I didn't help Ramus. He's not very good. They're really pushed up. I'm gonna see if I can roam. He's he's not jungling. This this man is not a jungler. I'm gonna do the jungling for him and help out the lanes. Because he won't. That's a flash. Ah, that was a good exhaust. Bro, something, guys, do something! My <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, you got this. You got this. You don't got it. Man, this team is... He's still farming and just giving Ziggs the free tower. He's... Oh my goodness. What is wrong with this man? He should be covering my mid lane while I'm jungling for him. Ziggs is gonna get first tower at 10 minutes. Jesus. Dude, Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything though. I'm just venting and keeping this to myself. If I, if I say something, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be bad. The the thing about people in this game is that even if they know they're doing something wrong, if you tell them they're doing something wrong, they will completely ignore it. It's bad, but it would just make matters worse if we said anything. So it's okay. Udyr's here, but we can do it together. Does he even see me? Surely. <laughs> he used full lash. <laughs> he's, he's already got Leanges, bro. This is so bad. Didn't we help bot lane? How are they... How are they dying? Ah. Uh, man, Ramus has single-handedly lost... My mid lane. And his jungle at the same time. Huh. No, wait. Wait. What? <laughs> Oh 
What in the hell is going on? He used ghosts to get out. I'm just gonna steal Ziggs to clear the wave. I'm gonna fight this. If they wanna die with me, go for it. Somehow I don't get the cannon there. <laughs> oh, I got a recall, but I can't buy anything. See, I have two kills, and Ziggs has nothing, but because he's gotten so much free farm and XP, he's he has much more go gold and XP over me. It really is more important. Thanks, bro. I'm walking over Pink Ward, but it's fine. No! Why did he get the shutdown? Okay, at least I got one of the kills. This is a great dragon for us. We should most definitely get it. Ramus, you gonna just steal XP all game? That's what he does bad. <laughs> I love how that enemy knows. The enemy is fully aware of how bad he is. That's hilarious. I want to get one more turret plate, if possible, but I'm not going to. Ah, I didn't want to sell my Doran shield, but if I want to get Rift Maker, I have to sell it. I'm so high right now, ladies and gentlemen, my jungler. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. Wukong doesn't have TP, it's 4v5. That was a good as rolls. Wow, you just hit everyone. I can't do everything, unfortunately. One four one two one four oh five. Hmm. I even got exhausted, went in the middle of the fight, killed Ezreal with the shutdown, and still didn't get it, unfortunately. Kind of hoping we get objective bounty soon. Getting that shutdown on Ezreal was honestly a really big deal. And it's unfortunate that we didn't get dragon, but it's only second. If we start getting objective bounties, we can still come back in this game. Just gotta collect their bounties as well. Oh, okay, actually there are objective bounties lives. So that's good. Oh wait, go, 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 go! I can steal Karma's ulti and just wreck house. I mean, they have such a- they have such an easy team to kill. If we just jump on them like this, perfect. Beautiful. See, that's all we gotta do. I mean, it's Ziggs. We just jump on him and kill him. Right? Okay, they go for this. I gotta head back.
Live, please. Oh, he just eat in. What an idiot. He eat in. <laughs> when Ezra uses his E, it's just like time to go. Wow. They are just getting us back into this game. They just gave us two bounties. This is fantastic for us. Six towers to zero, though. The hardest part is just going to be juggling the map when they have all these advantages. That tower's full HP, there's no way in hell I'm gonna finish that. Alright, let's kill this fool. Going for him, of course. What? Okay, one for one's fine, but we need to get out. We need to get out, we need to get out. We're overstaying for sure. Just take the one for one. I also have a lot of gold, and I want to get Demonic Embrace, because that's just going to make me that much better and stronger. <sighs> We're at 7 Dark Steel stacks now. I'm getting really strong. I'm becoming a problem, for sure. I think we'll want to get Zonia's next. Might be on Rift Herald. What is this? Jesus, they're strong. I think we just... Reset for Dragon. I'm low and so is Ramus. I think we just recall. We need to get this one though, this is gonna be soul point. So don't do anything dumb, guys. Wait, no, 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 don't recall now! You should have recalled like when I was recalling. Now it's too late. We need to, We need to walk up. So we can't take. We need to hard engage, or else they're just gonna poke us down. We need to really just jump on them, just like that. Beautiful. Great job. Good kiting. It's flash. That's an exhaust. Perfect. Really good stuff. We just got a 5 for 1 there. I would low-key want a Baron, but can't do that. Get an objective bounty, deny the soul. That's really, really, really good. <sighs> Unfortunately, like, Udyr's just sitting on our bot lane. I can't really help them. I need to go on their bot lane. But, honestly, Ramus is stepping it up with these engages, so. Okay. Can't quite buy it yet, but I'm pretty close. I want to get this for sure. Stopwatch. They're mostly uh, attack damage. They have a pretty good comp of mixed damage, so it's kind of hard to build around it. Oh, that's a really, really good TP. We can sandwich them. If we kill enough of them, we can take Baron as well. I want to take Karma's ulti again. If we kill jungle, that's huge. That's barren if we kill jungle. Wait, no. 
No, no. Chill, chill, chill. If Ezreal E's in, I kill him though. Jesus. Kill him! Oh my god. Okay, we're still winning these fights though. <sighs> no, we can't, Baron. We're way too low. We're 10 3 and 10. We are winning these fights. Oh. Ezreal's so damn strong though. He's like one shotting our tank. We still only have two towers. Honestly? Flashing to kill a support is pretty stupid. She's just trying to bait us to keep us here. Um, but if we die, then they Baron. So just leave. Yeah, flashing to kill an 08 support is pretty dumb. I think he's dead. Oh no, never mind. It's good. Because they would have Baron if they caught any of us out. Are they, they might have done Rift Herald as a distraction and they're doing Baron. Does no one have wards? No blink blue trinkets? No nothing? No nothing? Really? It's in five seconds. That sucks. But I don't think we could have done anything about it. They're recalling the Signatar. Fine, it's one for one once again. That was way too aggressive though. Just chill. A one for one is worth though because that means one less Baron. So. Fine. I think I take Ezreal's ulti to clear here. Let me get this. They have anti-heal now. That's rough. Yeah, at least they didn't get the inhib though. I think... We just gotta kill their backline and they're dead. That's the hard part though. We wanna go Shadow Flame. More HP, more penetration. More penetration, more healing. And then we can end it with a rabbit on death cap. Zai is actually really strong now, though. She's she's getting pretty strong. I think, I think if we 5v5 and just play our fights right, we're good. I have Flash, so I can get it on their back line. Um, we just gotta hard engage like we've been doing. I mean, I'm taking three of them right here. I'm distracting three of them. You're gonna Flash, you're gonna die, dude. You gotta choose one. Baron was up, we could take Baron. I can take Dragon though for us. I'm basically just a, a distraction though at this point. Like, I'm very tanky, so I can take on a lot of people, which is what I did. I took on three of them while I killed someone else. I'm just afraid of getting out kited by Ezreal. He also has. Shirella does, which slows me. He can kite really well with his build. Gotta get a taunt on him. Just get a taunt on him. Great job. I don't even mind that they're getting the kill. I have enough gold. I think my team needs to get kills now. Let's upgrade this, honestly. Oh, wait, I can't. I don't want to sell my boots. I still need this. I think we just get the Magi's, honestly. That's a good idea.
we keep winning fights, but we're not getting anything out of it. I think that's the hardest part of what's going on right now. Is that we're winning the fights, but we're still 7 towers to 2. We got the dragon, which is something, but Cloud Dragon's pretty whatever. I'm gonna use this Ezra ulti. It's not gonna be used anyways. They also have really good wave clear. All of them, Karma, Ziggs, Ezreal. So it's really, really hard to push waves against them unless they're dead. It's good though, got a tower. Slowly but surely. I just kind of have to scare them off. They were going to kill him if I didn't show. Seems like such a bad idea. I took the wrong ulti, dude. Udyr's ulti is so trash. It actually bugs my auto attacks. Like, look at my auto attacks. What is that? <laughs> you don't even see them. Did you kill him? Okay. Wait, I killed him. Through the burn. Once again, four for one. That's really good. Yeah, taking that Uder ulti actually was <gasps> more harmful than helpful, which is funny. Death timers are long. I'm pretty low, but I can keep going. Got some nice Magi stacks, though. Feeling uh, pretty beefy. Take Inhib and leave. I need Shadow Flame. Let me get this, please. Oh. I'm so close. I'll get blue buff. That's safe. Blue buff. Recall. Shadow Flame. Technically, I'm full build, but I'll want to get a Death Cap. Replacing one of my items, of course. You done good today, Roofmaker. The Demonic Embrace also finishing that kill on Ziggs, which was, uh, that's actually a huge deal. Because that means no wave clear for 40 seconds. Um, this next fight I'll have Flash and Zonias. So let's just wait for those. I can, I can 1v1 Udyr, actually. This is so, he's so stupid. He just gave us Baron for free. Actually, Baron's going to be a little hard to do with their poke. We have to turn, I think. Actually, we burn this super fast. We don't have to turn. We just take it. Screw them. Oh. Didn't even think I'd hit that. Oh, wow. Wait, he's almost dead. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Try to block for Ramus. Oh, <gasps> he just eat in. Oh my god. Damn it, this Ezreal's so strong. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, they they literally all use flash there. I gave him a thousand gold bounty to Ezreal. He's got Hex Drinker. We're just gonna lose one dragon, and it's not even soul. Wait. You can steal it, you can steal it. Oh, good try. It's okay, it's not soul point, so it's it's okay. That's not okay. Death timers are pretty long, guys. I don't know why Zaya died right there by herself. That's really bad, actually. Wow, we have to get both of these, actually. <sighs> we still have some barons, right? Whatever they bring, 
We just gotta hard engage, kill him, and do our thing. Hard engage. I got flash. He's got TP. He's got TP. We need to make a push while we still have Baron. Ezreal's bot. Let's fight before he's here. Good zone used by him. Why, Mike? No, don't go for the food here. Taking so much damage. Bro, this freaking Ezreal is so hard. It's 3 for 3. So hard. Ah! Dude, what is Ezreal? It's freaking Ma, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's not gonna get there. Oh, this game is so hard. Okay, we didn't lose the tower. I don't think that was on me. I don't. I stopped going. I was trying to walk off. But then we kept going for that Ezreal at the end. It's just Ezreal, man. And a stupid maw. Do I sell this for- Yeah, I sell this for Void Staff. Look what they're building. I use both my sums there. I should recall for a blue pot as well. Top wave. What is he doing? I didn't get his ulti, it cancelled. Did this guy get? <sighs> In the back door. No. He freaking. What is that chump? Silas, what are you doing? Why is this game so hard? I need to sell something for Rabidon's death cap. I have no idea what though. I have no idea what, but I need to do something. I think it has to be Magi's as much as I want to keep it. I wasn't able to pick up a uh, blue pot, it's fine. Even with Void Staff too, he was actually tanking so much, which is crazy to me.
Does no one have wards? Yeah, they're not on. I didn't think they'd be on it anyways. I'm gonna lose my blue pot for this fight, which sucks, but whatever. it honestly part of me just wants to just do it Another ulti in 18 seconds. This is just so impossible. They're baiting it. They're not even on it. They're, 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 they're bush tacting it. They're like in a bush or something, waiting for us to walk up. I need Karma's ulti more than anything, but even her, it's hard to get to. They're so far back. Dude, honestly, just do it. Let's just do it. Let's Shia LaBeouf this and just do it. Okay, thank god. I didn't even know he was right there. They're all dead. It's all just Ezreal now. Can Ezreal 1v5 us? Can Ezreal 1v5 us with Baron? We're not there! I'm so far, you guys are so fast! We won! Oh, 18! 5 and 22! Let's freaky go! I honestly didn't expect to win this game. The early- oh my god, just- just... Crazy... Crazy game! <laughs> mid gap, yes! Yes! It is a mid gap, I love it! Okay, let's check out the damage though. I have to see the damage, bro. I'm sure I will be happy with it. Oh my god, what can this build not do? I'm a tank. I bet you I did the most damage. I took the most damage too. Let's see damage taken. Jesus. Guys, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. We upload every day. And comment down below what you think of the build. Without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Alrighty, guys. Today we are playing Silas in the top lane, running Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend, Tenacity, Last Stand. Second Wind and Revitalize. As you can see, we already got two bonus healing from Revitalize, so you know this is broken. The Mythic that we are planning on going is Riftmaker. Also grabbing an Archangel Staff for the bonus healing. Finishing it off with a Spirit Visage to amplify that. And grabbing a Rabbit on Death Tap to amplify both our damage and our healing. So we're against the Garen in the top lane. First to die for the ruling class. We got an awesome little quote by Silas. Love that. Don't really love the Garen matchup, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to be really tough in the beginning. And he's just going to do that and spin a lot, but should be okay as long as you play it right. Kind of have to be respectful. He's going to be really aggressive because Silas is just so bad in level three, levels 1 through 3, especially in the top lane with champions like Garen. It's really hard to do anything. He's going Fleet Footwork, that's kind of interesting. Not going Conquer. Okay, yeah, we have to back off. He's level 2. He's not going Conquer, though. So that means his, uh, his, his laning phase is definitely going to be much better than mine, but his damage output, like, after levels 4, 5, and on, is going to be really low. Also started Doran's Ring, so that's interesting. Or Doran's Blade, which is quite interesting. Hopefully, if the tower decides to shoot him, that would be uh, that would be good. He has ignite as well. 
Yikes. Okay, that's good. We want to stop him from healing from his passive. Because his passive and fleet footwork, yeah, his, his laning phase is just going to be nutty. Oh, I had to get that. I should have used my passive to secure that I get that minion. Cannon is really, really important. If we get too low, though, I really don't mind uh, just recalling and TPing back. Because we have that option while he does it. Okay. I don't think that kills me. Like I was saying, TP back to lane. <laughs> that was really aggressive. I'll admit that was pretty close, but... We should be able to kill him once we get back to lane. We're gonna grab a tier, start stacking that up as soon as possible. He has no summoner spells now, though. If he, re uh, This is a great time for me to freeze the lane, so I'm gonna freeze this and kind of force him. To make a decision here. He has no health pot either. So he's got no more sustain other than his passive and fleet footwork. They locked up a board, but let me... Oh, that's a problem. That's annoying. A minion block is annoying. Man, this is an <laughs> the struggles of top lane. I have to recall here. I'm not even close to level five. I just have to recall. I'm gonna die if I stay. That sucks. We could have killed Garen though. But with Kindred being there, makes it a little tough. Hopefully, we can make it and not miss too many minions though. He's gonna get a turret plating. I'm gonna be behind an XP for this. Well, this is just part of top lane, unfortunately. Can maybe stop his recall here. This is gonna be my only chance to kill him. I used to be locked up, but I didn't care for it. Oh dang it! I should have expect should have expected a Garen player to be greedy, taking a very greedy recall like that. I could have stopped him. That's okay. Okay, I should be able to get a turret plate here though, and kind of get some. He hopefully he misses a good amount of minions here. That would be good. This will help us get back in a little bit. Chains build revolutions. One link. He's fast. <laughs> He's getting a phage for sight. I'm probably gonna go stride breaker. I'm gonna get a recall. I wanna get a sh boots and uh dark seal. There's no way I can fight him. He has an XP over, over an XP lead over me. No more kings, no more queens. So I'm just gonna go for a quick recall. No! <laughs> Look at him take nothing. I think I tickled him. I actually took more damage from the minions than I did to him. That's funny. From the rubble, true order will be born. I need help top lane. That kindred early game really screwed me over. Knowing how this guy plays, wouldn't be a surprise if he just flashed onto me. Oh. I really need help! Kindred keeps coming here! I like literally can't do anything. 
I'm gonna have to seal her ulti. They're gonna die me. I have to do it beforehand. <sighs> I don't even think I get an assist, right? Because I didn't hit her. That sucks. I didn't get an assist. I got nothing out of that. Zed gets a double kill, though. I guess that's good. I'm really just getting wrecked, though. It's really annoying. Got ignited by Garen. That was the best ulti I could use for the tower dive. Definitely. It will be brother against brother. Father against Good news is he has no uh no ignite for the next fight. I don't know if he used ultimate. But I might have to fight him when he comes back, because that might be my best chance to. Look cool introduction. I need to get Ionian boots very fast too. I have the minion wave here. No way. Oh, I flashed. Okay. Thank you. I needed that. I was going to be really upset if I died again. This Kindred just keeps coming top. So that was a good save. Garen's ultimate is probably up by now. I might just recall and TP back. It's probably the best thing to do. I can get Ionian boots now as well, so that's good. I think I TP mid, because I don't want this wave to go to no one. Oh wait, no, I have to go top. Yeah, I have to go top, or else he'll take the tower. Well, Kindred's bot, so I guess I don't have to worry about her being here again. Which is nice. What the Conqueror stacks? I think I can actually keep going and win this. Run, you pansy. What are you going to do without Kindred here? It took for me to find we actually could put up a pretty good fight. We got a turret plate here. Okay, he's going to go in for the kill. Right. He's gonna. I knew he was going to ult me. He had ignited me. So it's good. We get his ignite out. I have a feeling Kindred's coming though. <laughs> she was bot side. She died. She's probably feeling lonely. I have to play careful. Because even if she is here, and I have it warded, she's too fast. And I'm not going to be able to have any reaction time. Oh, I wasn't looking. I'm trying to see if Kindred's down there. I missed the cannon for that. She took Rift Hill. Okay, that means she's coming top for sure. They're going to take this tower. Right here, I can't do anything. Just uh, top lane things, I guess. Tradition Probably like right here, right? For the no? Tower's gonna fall anyways, though. Choose it mid, okay. Yeah, 
Wrath just dead anyways. His Demolish has taken so many strikes from it. I'm pretty low, but we can kill him. Oh, you don't have ulti. Yeah, that's okay. I can steal his ulti. We can kill him. That's good. Can push this a little bit back, maybe get some turret plates before it's gone. He has no TP, so... Just have to make sure if Kindred's not here, that I'm fine. She's not bot side, so actually there's a good chance she's here. This build's really good, but it takes a really long time to get online. We got this. This will definitely be ready. We're gonna build uh, Seraphs after Riftmaker, so this will definitely be ready by the time we get there, which is good. Okay, so we went Hole Breaker first item. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That's why he went Demolish, so... Now we're going to start putting up a fight. That's fine, though. We're going to start putting up a fight against him. We're going to have to. I don't have an ulti to steal, but... Fight for a very long time. Oh, shoot. No, Ignite killed me. That Soraka ult actually saved him too. What a fun champion. I love him. <laughs> He's dead no matter what, but he knew he just had to... He, he wanted to take one down with him. Dang, that Soraka ult actually saved him. I was hoping we could burst him down pretty fast. I have TP when I'm up, or close to when I'm up, so... I can maybe help them. She probably has ulti. <laughs> Oh no! My TP's not going to be ready in time, unfortunately. Or is it? Still Soraka's ulti and save him, right? No! I mean, I got double boss. That's a really good shutdown. She didn't flash. I would have hit that. Come on, bro. I just saved your life, and you can't even give me the cannon minion? It's like the least. It's the least you can give me. Got double buffs, so I'm feeling pretty good. Got a whole minion wave here, so I'm feeling pretty good. You got no ignite and no Soraka, so I'm feeling pretty good. Worth it! Worth it, worth it. Worth it. Screw that guy. That was a statement. That's a statement. That means even if the tower is going to do more damage to me than you will, I will take the damage. I'll take the hurt because it's worth killing a dirty Demasi and like the Garen. It's worth it every time. I actually didn't think I would go in for that. I don't know why I did, but I really just wanted to kill him there. <laughs> That silence is a pain, though. That silence is really, really annoying. So Garen's not going to stop at anything. He's just going to keep split pushing with Holebreaker. I need to fight him. I need to give him a pushback. Which is why I'm being so aggressive now. Now that I have these items, I think I can... Yeah, I feel pretty confident about taking him on. He's never going to team fight. He's just going to constantly split push. Everyone's missing. And I have no tower behind me, so that's a bit frightful. Pantheon can just ult behind me. Okay. I'm saying these things, but I'm not doing anything about it. I really should take it seriously and back off a bit. Oh! Or Let's go. Ult him? Nice. 
I'll be here on the other side. Yeah! <laughs> Bring him back just for me to take him with his own ultimate. I love it. Whoa, that was weird. We need to kill her. Okay. That's a Pantheon Flash. We'll take it. We're happy with that. Did Ezreal kill Zed? Wow. It's actually kind of surprising. Evil. What does any of that even mean? Dragon's up soon. My TP's up soon. At last I've come for you, Jarrow like feather. There is no king. I did not get that cannon minion that I W'd. <laughs> That's sad. Yep, Garen's top. He's just gonna keep doing this all game, so I have to match him. It's pretty risky. You're he's really far. Yeah, and even if there's a ward, I'm not gonna TP for that. Ah. Right before Dragon 2. I think we might have to give it. No more kings, no more queens, no more mage seekers. It all ends now. Wait, what? Why? I think we just give. It's not a big deal. We will rip the power from their cold dead fist. I don't know if a Zed steals a dragon. I'm just gonna keep slip pushing. They're dead no matter what. The least I can do is maybe take a tower. Or actually, if there's a ward. Nah. I'm gonna take this tower here. It's the least I can do. I think they're gonna start coming for me. Some of them are kind of leaving, so that's fine. I got my Archangel staff; it's ready to go. That's all I wanted. Now we can start building into Spirit Visage. Yeah, we are one beefy boy. I'm feeling pretty good. Ezra's a little scary, and Soraka's gonna be a problem, but I think we should be fine. I might want to get a Morello after Spirit Visage. Actually. He's a chem tech. Maybe I don't need to. If we just a ram it, we should be able to win these fights now. It's just a matter of getting a hold of Ezreal and Soraka through it all. Oh, that's actually perfect though. Wow, that was a good flash. I'm gonna take this, cause just just cause I have top lane duty today and I don't wanna miss my shift. I have no idea what did so much damage to me. You just eat in! Kill him, kill him, kill him! Nice. This is the annoying thing about Garen, like even if we win the fights, he's just gonna he's just gonna keep doing this, so I have to recall. I have TP, so I can do this. I'm on I'm on Garen duty today. Pole breaker is such a fantastic item. I'm really glad they made it. I thought there's a chance he's maybe in there. Okay, I have to stay top. Or I have to just match him permanently. Even if he's 2 and 5 or 0 and 10, he's just gonna constantly be a problem for pushing. And that's why I really like this build, honestly. It's a perfect top lane build. It's not much of a team fight build. I mean, it's good for team fights, but it's so good for these long 1v1s against people like Dar Garen. I mean, no, they're yeah, Kindred's bot. They're not gonna do it. 
No prison can hold me. He has an anti heal, but I don't think I really care. Just disgusting game. Like that actually makes me sick to my stomach. I hate. I hate that he's even close. I mean, he's two and six. Like, why is that close? He uses flash ignite, almost kills me. That's so like it just bothers me. I hate that. Four v five. No Garen. Let's go for it. 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 Gotta go for her though. Good knockup. Uh -huh. Ezreal seven one. I feel like Ezreal's just wrecking everyone, honestly, from the back end. This is uh, two for two. I guess that's okay. Keep doing your thing, bro. Two levels above him. There's no way he wins now. They're gonna have to go to that without me. If I go, I'll lose the uh, inhib. Unless I kill him first and then walk there. That's really good. That's a huge pickup for us. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Garen's coming, but... Ah, they stole it. Well, that does. I mean, we have to go for Baron. We have to. Three, two of them are dead. One of them is a jungler. We have to. I don't know why Zed one bought. So our team good. <sighs> we don't have an ADC. Well, we have Lee injuries and Riftmaker. I think we're fine. We gotta do it. Any sweepers? Stay on it. Just stay on it. Just stay on it, please. Okay. Well, you just eat in. Or just take him away. She flashed and has Shirelias. You kill her though, right side? Good job. Good job! Wait, where did Ezreal go? Did he not kill him? Good hit! Good hit! We can end the game here. We can end the game with this push. Okay, keep going, keep going. No, 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 stay, 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 stay. Stay! What are you recalling for? All four of them are dead! What the fuck? Two of them recalled! Two of our teammates recalled. What? Bro, we could have ended the game. <laughs> okay, now we get out. He's type of thought. I am s my brain. That's all I gotta say. My brain. Yeah, definitely could have ended there though. It's okay. I split top. I have TP. One three one. Nope, Seraphine. Nope. Just go mid, please. If they need me. I'll be there. But we need to make use of our uh, Baron here. A shepherd with no Hello? With a 
I don't know who else is here. I can definitely kill her by myself. I feel like someone else is just here. Kind of waiting. Are you not going to ult? But why? Let's do it. I don't care. Me and you, bro. I'm not afraid. Not afraid! Just a reminder, I'm 9 and 3, he's 2 and 8, and he's actually almost killing me. I think that's really cool. And he's 3 levels under me. I think it's all very interesting. Okay, now we can end for sure. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, he's dead. No, he's dead. Shut down. 10, 3, and 13. Look at the healing from this. I actually really want to check the healing charts. Because that was a really, really hard game in the beginning. Like, awful in the beginning of the game. But then we made up for it so hard. Top lane is just so hard in the beginning, especially with Silas. But I'm really interested to see how much we healed and how much damage we did. Because I think we did top in both. Even if... Even though they had a Soraka. I feel like we did really good there. How do I make this bigger? Alrighty guys, today we are playing a Lunar Wraith Silas in the mid lane. Oh, how they're getting chased down. Uh, we're going First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Approach Velocity, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter. For the build, we are going Luden's Tempest into Zonia's Banshee's Veil, Death Cap and Shadow Flame. Now, this is my favorite build with Silas by far. Um, all these runes, all these build, this is what I think is best for the champion in most of the case scenarios. This is my play style. So don't take this as the number one Silas build for everyone. No. I mean there's no number one or best build for anyone. It just depends on your play style. And for my play style, which is extremely aggressive, this is mine. Um, I really like Treasure Hunter with First Strike, I like doing a lot of damage, and then I like going Zonia's and Banshee's Veil, giving us some armor and giving us some magic resist at the same time. So I think this is the best Silas build for my kind of playstyle. Um, you guys might think so too. I think it just goes really well together. This doesn't mean I don't think the other builds are bad, I just think these go really well. So, again, some Malzahar in the mid lane. Honestly, this is a pretty tough team comp, um, and this is a tough matchup because he's ranged, obviously. So... They have a lot of CC, a lot of CC, which is going to make this hard, but that's why we kind of like going Zonius and Banshee's Veil, uh, to kind of get us out of these sticky situations, while also doing a lot of damage. And for my last time, I like to go Shadow Flame, but if they have too much magic resist, then I'll get a Void Staff instead. Can't really do anything against uh, Miles Harm, probably going to be pushed into lane most of the time. Like I said, this is probably one of the worst matchups for my kind of build, but I like it. Haven't been able to get my first strike off at all, but haven't really been able to do anything either. Uh, just focusing on CS. 14 to 14 is really not that bad, though. And I'm also playing my favorite skin. A lot of people don't like it, but I personally think Lunar Wraith Silas is so cool. The splash art, the effects, the looks, the old steel, every part of this, I'm a fan of. Wow, he got that right as my I haven't had one moment of first strike yet, man. He went here. I'm hoping the next time it's up I can do something though. I haven't used my health pot, so I'm healthy in that regard, honestly. It's just gonna... It's just gonna go on cooldown again. <laughs> He's almost out of mana, though. I mean, he's really just been spamming abilities on me, which, which really isn't that smart. I'm still getting more CS than him, somehow. And Malzahar is really not anything without mana, so... You're gonna have to recall, bud. I can maybe kill him. I have Ignite and he doesn't. Hmm. 
Want to help me? Actually, they're doing pretty well. You made the right call. Going bot instead of helping me. They're doing really well over there, actually. There's a chance Ramus is here. I can kill him. He's still very out of mana. He might be baiting for Ramus, which is the reason why I'm not going in. Otherwise, I totally would. But I know Ramus might be around the corner. Um, but I guess I have Belveth right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, Ramus was kind of waiting around the corner. Low key Snake Eyes because. Ah! My first strike came in at the last moment. Almost killed him there. If I had first strike for that combo, he definitely would have died. Or force was on cooldown. He's gonna TP back, so I'm gonna freeze the wave here and just get my recall off. Oh, it doesn't have flash. Yeah, she's dead. There's this TP. So I wanna do this as quickly as possible and just get back to lane. So he has no flash. I say we go for him, honestly. I gotta get this wave first. Bro, how much fun is this, though? Oh my god, he silenced me midway! Alright, just finish him off. He silenced me mid ult. That's okay. Get a Dark Seal stack, get my Treasure Hunter. I'm happy. That's just unlucky, timing wise. He has a TP so I can push this in. It's still a win for me. Um, and I really want to get a turret plate here. So I can get Lost Chapter, so let's do that real quick. A little greedy, but I know Ramus is bot side, so I'm not worried about that. First strike once again. I think Malzhar is uh, one of the most underrated champion in the game. Surprised more people don't play him, but I think he's so good. Even if he goes 0 and 10, he's still relevant with his ulti. So. It's probably awarded, right? 100% warded. <laughs> I was hoping to Ash had arrow, but she's not level 6 yet. And it's really hard to roam against Malzark because he just constantly shoves in the wave. Uh, we could kill him here though. He, I believe his flash is still not up. Nicely done. Were you able to get the first strike off that time? Knight and everything ready. Yeah, he went way too far without help. So now he's gonna lose a little bit more. Question authority. Then slit his throat. Oh. Oh crap. Oh my god, Simo almost stole it. Okay, I'm trying to get there as fast as you ulti that, ulti that. Really bad time for this random lag out of nowhere. Like, what was that frame drop? And why is Simo 3 and 1? Oh, that frame drop, damn. 
I think I was dead anyways, but that really tripped me up because my Ram Assault just went to nothing. <laughs> no, you're just gonna get ulted by uh, Malzahar. Uh, I should have just recalled. That's okay. I used to be locked up, but I didn't care for it. Dude, that was a pretty big shutdown. I should probably. No, I can't. Malzahar has no ulti, so that might be good. Fortune's really fed too. So I really want to fight him before his ulti comes back. I don't know if I'll get the opportunity. Guess I don't need it. <laughs> now I'm just done letting him poke me. I'm just gonna go crazy on him. We're finally getting worth out of the um, first strike, which was basically not even there before but now we're actually seeing some value i want to go kill this teemo but it's probably shroomed up around i just want to go and get my ludens tempest reset for the dragon and now we can start building into zonias which will be really really helpful for us i also want to get treasure hunter stack so the team fight would be good I have a pink ward. Okay, they don't know. We're fine. Okay, now they know. They hit the plant. <laughs> Just stay on this. I'm gonna do that, but better. Or not. <gasps> Man, I gotta get, just get out of here, right? <laughs> we just got the dragon, though. I could kill him, but his team's right behind him. Yeah. Oh wow, Timo's very low. The mage shall inherit the Maybe I can kill him, get shut down. Treasure Hunter stack. Just gotta be careful of walking into shrooms. Outplayed. He has no TP, so I can get a lot of turret plates here before 14. Oh, that's a lot of shrooms, though. Like, a lot. Mm. Just playing with my cooldowns here. Bro, these shrooms! Okay, I'm not gonna move. I'm afraid if I move, I'm gonna step into one by accident. We'll just sweep it. <laughs> oh my god. They actually have maybe the worst team to ever go first strike because they have burn, burn, poke, poke, like so much poke and stuff. It's actually very hard to get off. Um, I'm gonna go Sorcerer's Shoes. I personally really like Sorcerer's Shoes. We don't have much ability haste, which sucks, but that extra magic penetration really does more damage, goes a long way. More damage means more healing. And I think it just works out really good for me. No more you have double the injuries. It's gonna be annoying. The tower's pretty low. Maybe we can make a play there. Is this warded? I can catch out Misfortune. Oh. Is that, that's not Misfortune. That's Ramus.
Hold up. Oh my god, this was on three. I thought it was on two the whole time. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, dude. I thought my stopwatch was on two the entire time, and I was spamming it, and I was about to be like, what the hell? <laughs> I look like a complete idiot there. All right, got the shutdown on her. I totally messed that up. I, that could have been so much cleaner, honestly. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay, wait, is Seabot just gonna rain free, dude? We need to do something about him. This is Warden. He's just gonna ult me, right? He's gonna press the R outplay button on me. Dude, are you gonna do- she's not doing it- I keep thinking she's gonna flank. Belveth is literally just standing there. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I kept thinking she was gonna go. Hello? Wait, is she actually- I don't know if she's there or not. Like, genuinely. I was born a mage. Okay, grab this. Zonia is obviously very necessary. <laughs> Miss Fortune's in a really bad position, especially without Thresh around her. She either has that Flash or Gale Force to live here. Let's get the next dragon too. Before that, I'm gonna go kill Teemo if we can. Actually, it's too late. We just gotta go for the dragon. Let's stay bot side. Okay, he has no spell shield, so that's good. Ah, let's hope we can catch him out. This is still a pretty good ulti to steal. I'm not really. I'm not able to use other abilities when I use it, but. So I put the Q down and then ultied so that he would stay in place and I can get the second Q hit on him. That's the only reason why I did That was the only way I was, I was going to be able to kill him. So I put the Q down, ulti, and then he takes damage from Q1 and Q2. I don't know if we should chase this when, Baron, when Dragon's up. We should just get the Dragon. I like Dragon. Nope. Now oh, you're dead from Ignite anyways, bro. <laughs> and that's why you get a Zonius. Oh, you're dead though. It's uh Wait, that's a Malzahar TP? I think he still has his ulti. Man, I just wanna get the uh I just wanna get the dragon. Can I do- I think I can do it solo. Help would be appreciated, but I think I can do it solo. Oh, it's warded. Nervous doesn't get here in time anyways, though. Teemo's literally just wrecking top lane. Okay. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. Him getting a double kill. That's not great. I mean, I'm down. I don't know how well that's gonna go for you, but I'm down, bro. This is a good ulti to go kill, uh... The kid. I really wanna get this. It's time to get Banshee's Veil, because now if Malzahar just ults me, I'm dead. If I get hooked, I'm dead. And Magic Resist is really helpful, because they have a lot of magic damage. Wait, you could have done this the whole time. Why didn't you? Why didn't you do that the whole time before you took two towers? <laughs> Either way, I mean, that's good. No complaints from me. Okay, that's a flash. I mean, I wasn't going to kill him anyways. He, uh, his pa he passived my W.
Cobra. I love you, Zonius. I don't think I needed a flash there. Eh, maybe. Depending if the turret reset. Yo, how tanky is that guy? I could have just killed him, honestly. I should have committed. I think I could have killed him. So I have 135 armor and 116 magic resist. So I'm like actually pretty hard to kill while dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, I can start building into my death cap now. Could get a magize, but I want to get death cap anyways. It's crazy because it's 20 to 21. My team's actually like not doing phenomenal. It's actually a fairly close game, but when you look at my score, it doesn't feel like it at all. Twenty minutes, almost full build. Actually, insane. This gives me almost one point five k extra gold. They're coming for me. They're all MIA. I'm still afraid of getting Malzahar ulted. Because I can still get killed pretty easily, but... Swine and sheep. That's all they are. That tower's really low. We could actually just kill them there. Just hit the tower, like, once. My Zonius is up, so I could be pretty crazy. Not many places you guys can go. Or Thrash, man. What's he to do? And Jin lives with like 2 HP. I can still Malzahar's ulti, but I need to knock out his passive first. I don't really know if I care about Teemo's. But he's dead, right? Okay. Does Malzahar still have ulti? It's really- Oh, that Ash arrow would've been perfect! I have Zonia's, I think I YOLO it, right? I'm out of mana, I couldn't W us- <laughs> I was out of mana, I was trying to press it! Wow. Okay, well, I got the death cap anyways. Uh, if you fight, I can't help you. I literally... Silas without mana is barely even a cannon minion. So, full build at 22 minutes. And a blue pot on top of it. Well, I guess we have to upgrade the Magi's first, but... That could be full build. Could go Shadow Flame, but I think Magi's might be even better. 620 AP, 141 armor, and 119 magic resist. It's like you got a little bit of everything. Um, why is she TPing top? Well, I guess they're all here. Malzahar's TPing here. We're kind of outnumbered. It's a 2v5. Um, I mean, I can't do much about that. He just flash hard me, dude. I wanted this dragon. Why? <laughs> Why who he top? It, I can't blame her. It was obvious. We knew that. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have Zonia's either. I can't do anything if I just get flash ulted. That's that truly is the outplay. Well. Well, good news is they don't have flash for the next fight.
Uh, I mean, Thresh got two kills, which doesn't really matter, I guess. We just take Baron now, I think. We just need to stop. We keep dying, like, stagnant from each other. Just go for this. I have Zonia's. And I, I have all my summoner spells. I feel like pretty good. These hurt, but doesn't hurt as bad with that with some magic resist. Mm, I think we get it, right? Nice. I don't know if we fight here. Wait, he used ulti. As long as it doesn't use ult on me, I don't care. <laughs> Do I need a flash? It's gonna kill him anyways, right? I'm dead, dude. I'm gonna die from burn. Freak this Teemo! Leave me- <laughs> Dude, I ran into like four shrooms that fight. <sighs> well, at least I really has the Baron. I don't think I need a flash on Thresh, though. Um... What do we get? They're not really building magic resist. I think... Shadow Flame would probably be good, because they have a lot of health. So let's do that. The game is 30 to 31, guys. This is actually a very close game. Yeah, we've never grouped like once this game though. Everyone is always doing their own thing. I say, well, I really still as Baron. You know. Group. I'm gonna grab another one of these. It's good to group because. Then Teemo has to fight us together. We don't walk into shrooms randomly here and there. I used to be locked up, but I didn't Is she dying? Please live. Oh, nice triumph. Okay. Wait, what? did she walk into another shroom? Eh, I guess it's a one for one at the end of the day, so take it. It's good Ash Arrow, but can't really do anything about it, right? <sighs> Gotta play pretty careful with the. Uh... Okay, got her ulti out, that's good. If I get a good angle, my Misfortune ulti can do a lot of work. Also, I really has TP, so that's good. Yeah, this can do a lot if I get in a good position. I think we play off of Ash's arrows. Low though. Oh, she healed. Bro! That was a huge. Oh crap. Wait! Never mind. I get a pentacle kill here. Pentacle! Pentacle! He's so fast! And there's so many shrooms. I don't think I get the pentacle. He's <laughs> just gonna put shrooms everywhere. Freaking guy. Yo, Pentakill! That Misfortune ulti was the best thing ever. I'm really glad I took that. Wait, hello? T tank? Nice.
Whew. I should need to do that every time. <laughs> This has done 4,000 damage. I actually didn't even notice that. 680 AP. Oh, you could get. She's in an awful position. Oh, God. I guess we get her flash out. Good job. I still have the Ramus ulti, so I can jump on Misfortune if I need to. Oh, cancelled it. Bro, he flashed. I was trying to W and then, um... I was trying to W and then Zonius, but he flashed out of it. Uh, okay, so T-Wall has no flash and Misfortune has no flash for the next fight, so that's good. We can get Baron again and just try to end here. Some good split push. Why do I feel like Teemo's actually like the scariest person on the enemy team? It's really good if she gets in Hib. Nice. Wait, you're gonna keep going? It's like literally just you and the entire ten enemy team's up. Oh, she's- <laughs> What? You could've ran. She was trying to take the portal out. You could've easily ran out. But whatever floats your boat. Time I've had my neck in a noose. Um, I feel like I would benefit from blue buff. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's Baron. I really is TP, so she could meet up with us. Conflict brings Wait, you already started it? Wait, what? Why would you? What? What? You couldn't have waited like two seconds for us. Well, that made no sense. Maybe we can do jungler for jungler. And ADC. Actually, we could just end here. Let's just end here. Or at least get mid inhib. Gotta kill Teemo. Is he like hiding somewhere? He's flanking us. <sighs> Can't flank if you're dead. I don't know if taking team ulti was the best. I feel like it'd be pretty good though. Alright. Let's go. Just don't- you need to stay with me- wait, hello, Belveth, Belveth! Why is this so hard? I can do this all day, bro. Oh my goodness, 29, 4, and 11. It's like my team is trying to make this hard for me. But this is why it's my favorite build. Just ignore the Teemo, dude. I just want to win the game. Why do you have exhaust? Pentakill, two pentakills. No, end the game. End the game, please, please. End, please, just auto. You got this. I believe in you. Oh my. Dude, this game actually gave me such. Uh, 
This game gave me so much stress. I have to look at the damage charts. I know that we just obliterated them. That was a hard game. But, like, that was a true 1v4. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for getting this far into the video. If you're here, you obviously made it to the end. Um... Be sure to give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. I hope this helped. I tried to be as detailed as possible. If you have any other questions, be sure to comment it down below and I will do my best to reply to you. I want to help you guys as much as possible and of course achieve the rank that you want. Um, and I think Silas is not only one of the best champions in the game right now, but also the most fun. So I really encourage you guys to try this out and I'm sure that you can get to diamond with this build. Uh, with all of these build and have a great time doing it. So once again, thanks so much if you made it this far into the video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.